four jaw chuck that came with my lathe, and it's it's a, it's a mission to get it on and off. I'll just zoom you in and show you the problem. Okay, so my lathe has a, a threaded nose, and this thread is um, is eight TPI, and the diameter is. 57 millimeters or thereabouts. I don't know what it is. It's imperial. Um, it registers on that face there, as well as this surface here. So to mount it on the lathe, you've got to lift it up and then try and hold it against the nose without damaging the, that surface on the nose. At the same time as you screw it in, um, which is pretty hard. Uh, even though I have a, uh, a wooden riser block to hold this at the approximate height, it's still fairly hard work. So, recently, I'll just put that on the ground so that I don't drop it. Uh, recently, I managed to acquire a smaller four-door chuck, this one here, uh, which is actually brand new. It's never ever been used. It was When I got it, it was... Um, covered in the original grease. It, it, it's, it's been knocked around a little bit in its life. There are a few dings on it, um, but the jaws are uh, totally unmarked. Um, it's a Chinese vice. Uh, it's called a Fuerda. 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 F-U-E-R-D-A, which I've never heard of before, but a four-jaw chuck is a four-jaw chuck. Um, the, um, I was going to say the key fits quite nicely, but it doesn't, but that can be adjusted. Yeah, the key's a little bit tight in the, in the sockets, but I've had all the jaws out. They're, uh, they're uh, nice and free. There's not a lot of, not a lot of unwanted uh, play there. And there's a couple of tight spots. Yeah, just there, there's a slight tight spot. There's possibly a little bit of a burr there. Um, but you know, it, it looks perfectly serviceable <clears throat> but the issue is that I've got to make a back plate for it and uh, I don't have a lump of cast iron that is I don't have any iron that's that shape because that's about the sort of thing that I'm going to need to make a, uh, a back plate um, I could turn it out. I do have a piece, a, a square 40 mils thick. Uh, I won't show you that, but that's a big lump of steel and it'll require a lot of waste uh, and quite a bit of work to uh, to turn it down. So what I've decided is to do is to fabricate a back plate out of two pieces. Um, this is cast iron and this is a, um, a 5 kg um, weight off a dumbbell. And uh, I paid $20 for that, which is pretty cheap. That's a bit of stock that I had lying around. So what we're going to do is um, bore this out to around about uh, two and a half inches, 70 odd millimetres, and uh, thread this to the uh, to act TPI with the proper nose profile, and then. Um, and then uh, shrink that into into the back plate. So uh, I won't bore you with the uh, with the verbal details. Let's get on and uh, and start the machining. So first first thing I'm going to do is um, uh, put this in the four jaw, uh, bore that up to uh, to a mandrel size, put this on a mandrel, and uh, and do most of the tuning on this uh, the rough tuning uh, on a mandrel. Uh, which is easier than swapping it over backwards and forwards on the four jaw. Because uh, if I put it in the four jaw, I won't be able to uh, to do the outside uh, this outside surface. Um, and then uh, we'll do this bit. show you me struggling to get this in the four jaw but there seems to be a bit of interest in four jaw recently and uh, apparently there was a competition um, 
so and another one coming up apparently so that's pretty close to 200 millimeters in diameter uh, 200 and which is 195 so we'll get our jaws set to set to that closely and then get them centered up right so that center jaw there is just outside the second ring gauge on that. Probably have to get a put a dial gauge on that ring there. You can see why I want to put this on a mandrel. Otherwise it's going to be a bit of a messy process. Hitting anything. That rubbing noise you can hear is the um, is the is the segmented belt that this lathe uses. Right. So the high jaw is there. And I've got to be careful here that I don't drop this plate onto the bed because it's not holding on by very much. It's not round, which doesn't help too much. It's probably as good as we're going to get it. That's within a it's showing about ten thou. casting itself.
Okay, I've changed out the insert for a cast iron insert. Sorry, I don't know the number. Uh, actually, I can get that for you because I've just got the invoice here. <coughs> and uh, you can probably see, see the difference. That's a pretty slow feed, um, but I won't change it. I'll just get the number of that uh, insert standby one.